Last week, the United Kingdom's House of Commons voted in favour of beginning the process of Brexit. In the US, Donald Trump has had one of the most tumultuous months in presidential history. It's no guess that 2017 has been off to an interesting start for politics worldwide. I'm sitting here with Dr. Beach from the University of Hull in England to talk about some of the similarities between Brexit and Trump. I'm Emmanuel Lashar, and this is CULTV News. So Dr. Beach, tell me a little bit about um, some of the similarities you see between Brexit and Trump. I think the rise in populism amongst the traditional blue collar working class is one of the similarities. You're seeing that particularly in the Midwest and you're seeing that in parts of England where people feel kind of left behind. They feel frustrated by, generally speaking, the liberal elite. It's very interesting that you say that um, Americans kind of got tired of this elitist system. Um, but don't you think that Donald Trump is kind of the epitome of the elite? Yeah, I think he's very much part of the financial elite. Absolutely right. And and the media elite with his, with his TV show. Absolutely. But um, his message is one of populism. It's one of kind of a, a type of nationalism. It's one where he was saying that he wants to shake up Washington. Do you think that both the UK and the US are just going to get stronger? Um, because right now we're seeing quite a lot of uncertainty and um, people are worried about that. I think fears are, justify are justified. I think there's a huge amount of uncertainty. We've always been kind of outward looking and we've always wanted to search for new markets. And I think, you know, that, that attitude of, of having to secure markets and trade... I think plays quite well into the, you know, the ancient relationship that Britain has with America. And I think there will be an increase in trade. Do you think people are really worried that there's just going to be this influx of immigrants that take over the country and take away all their jobs? I think the influx has already happened. I mean, since 2001, Britain has had three million EU migrants. I mean... You know, it's it's already happened. And I don't think it's a case of a rising fear. I think it's a, a live reality for an awful lot of working class English people in, in poorer districts and the urban centres. They felt outcompeted. In America, it's a very different thing. In, in, the, in the United Kingdom, it's not about race. Ethnicity and language and culture, but not race. In America, it's a different thing. And I know in California here, a huge amount of California's economy is about growing and horticulture. And they rely on many, many, many hundreds of thousands of undocumented workers. But I don't think the issue of immigration is the same at all. I think it's quite different. Thank you so much. Uh, I really appreciate having this conversation. Um, and I hope we can do this again soon. Thank you, Manuel. And you're watching this week's CalTV Entertainment Weekly Wrap-Up. <laughs>